Hi everyone, so this is question 9 updated. So in this circuit we have a small signal model. Um, we need to apply the small signal model analysis. So in the circuit above we have, um, we need to find the voltage VD, the current ID. Uh, if the voltage source is, so the small signal voltage source is 20 millivolts. Uh, for the DC analysis we need to use a battery model for the diode with a VDO of 0.6 volts, a diode uh, with an ideality factor of 2, <clears throat> and a thermal voltage of 42 millivolts. And also verify if the small signal approximation is valid in this example. So if we look at the, the, the first approach in, to solve this problem is perform the DC analysis. So for the DC analysis, we just remove the, the AC voltage source, so that Vs of T, we remove it, we just short circuit it. And then we are left with, um, we are left with the, just the DC voltage source. This one here, the two volts, right? Then we still have the 80 ohms here. The diode, we use a battery model, so we add the 0 0.6 volts voltage source. And then we also keep the 120 ohms down there. So to calculate the, the the DC current, capital I, capital D, we just take the the ohms law here or like just apply a, 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 a loop analysis here where we have that the current ID that's flowing in series in this circuit uh, basically is the 2 volts that we have from the voltage source minus the 0 0.6 volts from the diode uh, battery model divided by 20 ohms here, which is 120 plus 80. So this gives us uh, 7 milliamperes of, for the current. And then to go over the small signal model, we have to calculate the small signal resistance. So the small signal resistance is NVT divided by the DC current ID. Right. So in the previous, uh, uh, in the previous uh, solution, I have forgot about this uh, n here. So it was like the half of this RD. But now, if we incorporate that, we have two times 42 millivolts divided by seven milliamperes, and that's the 12 ohms that we for for the small signal resistance for the diode. Now the second part is just the AC analysis. So for the AC analysis, we remove the DC voltage source that includes the DC voltage source for the diode. So those 0 0.6 uh, volts, they, we just short circuit that. The two volts, we again short circuit, and then we are just left with these 20 millivolts here. And then we, we substitute the diode for its small signal resistance uh, circuit. So it's just like, so this one here, it should be 12 instead of six. 12 ohms, right? And then we keep the 80 and 120 here for, for the circuit. So if we now calculate the small signal current, so it's small d, small i, uh, small d, then we have the 20 millivolts, right, divided by the sum of 120 plus 80 plus the 12 volts here from the volt from the small signal resistance model for the diode. So this is 20 millivolts divided by 2. 212 this gives us something around 90 94 micro amperes so the small signal current that's flowing through the diode it's 20, 94 sine omega t micro amperes right so remember that it basically oscillates in time now the entire current that's flowing through this diode is the dc current plus the small signal current so it's we had 7 milliamperes, let's keep everything on microamperes, so it's 7000 uh, microamperes, which is the same as 7 milliamperes, plus 94 sine omega t of microamperes here. So this is IDT. Now the voltage across, uh, across the diode is just that VD that we have, those 0 0.6, right, plus the small signal VD. And the small signal uh, VD here is just the current, the small signal current, small i, small d, times the small signal resistance of the diode. So if we multiply this one here, we get something around 1.1 millivolts, right? So that's the voltage that we have. So overall, we have those 600, so 600 millivolts from the battery model plus 1.1 sine of omega t remember it oscillates in time millivolts 
Now let's see if this small signal model applies for this circuit analysis. So we have the condition where the small signal VD divided by the ideality factor N times the thermal voltage should be much smaller than, um, than 1. So we have 1.1 millivolts divided by 2 times 42 millivolts and that's around 0 0.0131 and that's roughly uh, 9 times less or like 10, uh, roughly 10 times less than 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 one so indeed this methodology applies to to this circuit